How disappointed will Nelson P.K. Jr. be in his day after having such a dominant truck leading so many laps? White flag comes out now for Joey Coulter. If Joey could just make it back around unscathed, he's got him one. James Busher, nine-tenths of a second behind. There's R.C. There's your boss, your teammate leading the race. Good feeling, huh? Right, hey, listen, when they're winning, he's happy, so I sure hope he wins. <laughs> he's easier to deal with, and he's happy. <laughs> Richard Childress of RCR Racing, and he is hopefully going to be happy as they make their way down the long pond straightaway into the tunnel turn. Joey Coulter has one more turn to negotiate here in Pocono. If Ty Dillon has made his way by Kligerman to move up another spot. Well, he's holding his breath right now, just making sure he doesn't make a mistake, make sure he doesn't do anything silly, make, hoping nothing breaks on the truck. That's a long last lap. Phil, you talked about the experience. He's run here in the ARCA race before, damn, bud, you but me this time, right here. I told you you could do it. We it's to victory you, lane. Bud. Joey Coulter wins it at Pocono. shot in turn one if he can get there on the final lap. Connie Montoya knows that he's he's got him by two car lengths. She has seen her husband time it again, pull it off at Indianapolis. Cars off the racetrack. That was Regan Smith running in fifth position. He sunk, comes back on the track, doesn't lose hardly anything, so he's he's kind of back in the game with Carl Edwards again. No problem with Regan Smith. Now, Juan Pablo, pretty good lead going into cut to turn four. Another passing zone, but he's not got anybody messing with him now. That's off a of turn four, Andy. That's a real tough leading to the S's. Again, that's where he's good at. Just a few corners to go here. Just got to hit his marks. Remember in qualifying, he overdrove the S's and he jammed on the brakes and smoked the tires. It cost him a chance at the pole. He was frustrated. He was downright angry. He came out of the car throwing things, saying the expectations are that I'm going to come to Mexico and win in an NASCAR Bush Series race. A good turn, exit off of turn six, a lot of speed. Coming into seven, up off eight right now. Ladies and gentlemen, open up the NASCAR history books because out of turn eight, one Pablo Montoya becomes the yeah. next winner. of the NASCAR Bush Series. Juan Pablo Montoya has won it here at Mexico City. To the start finish line where they'll get the white flag for one lap to go. One remaining. Five years in a row, we've sweated this thing out to one to go to see who's gonna win. Who will come back and grab the checker? Turn one on this 10 turn course. Both these young men deserve it. It's a shame we can only have one winner. Cass was a little bit wide there. Remember, Cindric has to win to secure a spot in the playoffs. Looks it's inside. Right, inside. A little bit of contact, possibly, but Grana holding him off. They look so close. I'm not sure if they touched or not, but Grana keeps the lead. I don't see any way there isn't contact between these two trucks. Going to be right here, Our too, Michael. Michael. And there is the bump. Oh, and he spun him out. And he spins. Austin Sendrick with the big bump on Kaz Grala pushes Grala around and Austin Sendrick is going to come around for the victory. That's the world we live in nowadays guys. You can get your bumper to the guy in front of you. You're going to put it to him. He won the poll yesterday in record fashion celebrating his 19th birthday and today austin sendrick wins at canadian tire motorsports park how about that White happening flag i need one more good one no pressure from behind and dion hensky will indeed wave the white flag so we are one and a half miles away from setting a record how about putting ricky hendrick in the history books as the first winner if he can hold on in the history of this gorgeous facility in Wyandotte County, Kansas. We are in Kansas City, Kansas for the inaugural O'Reilly Auto Parts 250. And now three quarters of a mile stands between Ricky Hendrick and a GMAC Chevrolet win in NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series competition. Here he comes out. 
That eighth White place flag, finish. Joe, now. White flag. One more lap here at Dover International Speedway. Scott Speed looking for his first win in stock car racing for NASCAR. Could it come in the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series? He's a half a mile away. No He's pressure, got it. No pressure. That's got to be a very calming voice from Slugger Lab. He's saying, easy, half throttle, do whatever you got to do, toe, toenail. <laughs> the nickname may stick, but it's going to be Scott Speed coming out of turn number four. He'll win at the Monster Mile. Yeah, baby! And the white flag is up, and it's the final lap. Here's oh, Chicago oh, to the outside. Mike Wallace, is he out of fuel? He's out of gasoline. You don't want to lead this race. You just don't want to lead, is right. 70 laps was a bit too much to ask. Wallace is out of fuel. It's Justin Labonte and Jason Keller with a half a lap to go. Matt, is he out of gas? Out of gas. Yeah. Man, oh man. What a great drive right here. Off of turn number four for his first NASCAR Bush Series win. Say hello to Justin Lamonti as he wins the Twister 300 at Chicagoland.